When searching the many templates, graphics, photos, and videos that are available in Canva, there may be times when you want to save them for later on. And if you happen to fall down that rabbit hole of endlessly scrolling, it can get really time consuming. Well, by using the star feature, you can keep track of those favorites and even organize them into folders. And I'm going to share a couple secret hacks. that's going to make this process that much easier. My name is Kat. This is Canva Catterday. Let's get to it. We are here in the templates section of Canva, and I just did a quick search for inspiration templates. And if you hover over any one of the templates that are here, you'll notice a little drop down menu and there's a star. And if you click on that, it will then get saved as a favorite or in the case of Canva, it's called a starred item. Same thing as a favorite, same thing as if you were to star a web page or make it a bookmark, it's saving it as a favorite. And you can do this for any of the templates that are here. If you click on these three dots, it will give you some more information about that template, like its name. You can customize it. You can also preview the template right here. It'll tell you whether or not it is a free or a pro template. It'll give you the dimensions and you'll even have some options for other templates that might be in similar content. You can do that here where you're saving and starring your items, but you can also do it right within a design. So I'm just a blank Instagram post right here. Here are some template options. And if I hover over these three dots, there's that star icon right there. And you can just continue to do this for any of those templates that you happen to want to save for future reference. Now, not only does this work with templates, but this also works with graphics, photos, and videos. And the really cool part about that is that you can also save them to a folder to really keep yourself organized and sort the things that you need. Now, there's a couple ways to do that. One is to just do a quick search right here. Let's go star a couple things. Grab a cat right there. I'm going to star this cat. And you'll see I have an option for see more like this, view collection, and add to a folder. So I can click add to folder and I can pick a folder or create one. If you don't have one already, click on that option and click add to a folder. And I have now just saved that to a folder that I can go back and refer to it anytime that I want. You can do that right here from the elements tab. You can also do it from this starred tab right here, which keeps track of everything that you have saved as a favorite. So if there's something you wanna move into a folder, you'll just hover over the three dots and click add to a folder. And then you can place that into one of the folders that you have created for yourself. There are a couple of instances where this might not work for you. And that's usually in the case when it comes to templates. Usually speaking, you can star a template, but you can't automatically add that template to a folder. But I have a little workaround. What I like to do is just take anything that I have favorited. So let's go to my star items right here. There are the two templates right there. I'm just going to click on the first one. It's going to add it to this page. Then I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to click on the next one. It's going to add it to that page. I'll click on another page. I'll add that one. And here you can see I now kind of have this catalog of templates that I like, and I can save this and refer back to it later on. Let me change the view a little bit. You can see there's those three template options right there. And then I can take this design and I can save it to a folder for template examples or inspiration. You can even categorize it for different themes or different social media platforms, but it's an easy way to get those templates to be saved and you can use them later on. I mentioned there's a secret happening. There's actually a couple secrets happening. So let me show you this. Once you have starred an item, once you have put that item into your folder, you want to unstar the item. Wait a minute, what? What are we doing? Let me tell you why. Since you've already categorized those into your old own folders, you really don't need to keep it as a starred item anymore because what's gonna happen? This is going to get bloated really fast. As you continue to favorite things, whether that's graphics, photos, and videos, you'll wind up endlessly scrolling all over again. And the whole point is to help you stay a little more organized and find what you need faster rather than always having to keep scrolling. So since I have already saved that cat to a folder, I can now click on this, click unstar. It's going to disappear. 
don't freak out because we've already saved that to a folder. Let me show you where it is. Go all the way back to the Canva homepage, go to your projects folder. You can see right here, this is the star folder, same one we were looking at a few minutes ago. This is what it looks like in the main canvas section. But if I go to my projects folder and I save that in assets, I save that in cats, here's that cat right here. I've already saved it to a folder. You saw that I unstarred it, but it's still here within my folder. So I didn't lose it. It's still there. It's now just allowing me to keep this folder not quite so bloated anymore because I've moved everything into my own folder. So I highly recommend that once you've saved it to a folder, unstar it so you can keep this a little more neat and tidy. Secret tip number two has to do with photos. Let me clear this out. Let me go to a blank page. Okay. So here we are in folders. Let's just go find some beach pictures right here. We've got these great beach photos right here. Now, the only problem with when you're in a design is that these pictures are a little small. You either have to break out your reading glasses like me, or you would have to zoom in to see the detail that's within that photo. Yes, you can still star the elements right here, but it's kind of hard to see the detail. So let me show you a little hack. We're gonna go all the way back to the main Canva homepage, click on templates, and right here, you see photos. If you click on that, it shows photos much larger than when you're in a design. You can also navigate by specific topic. So I'm just going to continue with beach. These photos are much bigger. I don't have to squint to see them anymore, but watch this. You can now click on a photo and it's super large. You can see it nice and big. It gives you the exact size of the photo. Here's the option to star or unstar. You can click these three lines right here, add to a folder, it makes it super easy. Another really cool feature of doing it this way is that it gives you the color palette of that specific folder and even breaks down the hex color codes that you can use in your other designs. And if you wanna choose something else, let's say I like this one, I can see it nice and large. Here's all of the information. I can give it a star to save it as my favorites. I can click here to add it to a folder. I'm gonna add it to my backgrounds, add to folder. Here's my color scheme once again, and all of my hex codes. And it also gives you additional options for other content that looks very similar to the one that you've already chosen. If you don't wanna keep clicking back and forth between these photos, you don't have to, because you can just use this little viewer window. There's little arrows right here and right here that will let you cycle through these photos so you can see them much larger without having to kind of go back and forth, back and forth, clicking on everything. And then you can find what you're looking for, give it a star, add it to a folder right from within this section. Secret tip number three, you can also do this with icons. So if I go back to my main design and I just search icons, go in the graphic section, I have all these icons. They're great, nothing wrong with them, but again, they're tiny, they're small. And unless I zoom in or bring out a big pair of reading glasses, it's kind of hard to see a lot of the detail sometimes. Well, over here, all the way back to the template section, again, templates, you saw photos, we now have icons. You can click on that. Again, it breaks things down by category for you. So we can click any one of these categories you can scroll through and see them much larger than you could when we were in the design view. And if you click on any one of these icons, again, it gives you the name, it gives you the option to give it a star, it gives you the option to add it to a folder. It even breaks down the color scheme of the icons and gives you those hex color codes, which makes it really useful when you want to keep things in the same color vein or keep things on brand with your colors. This is a fantastic way to do it because now you can search for those as well. You can even copy these color codes if you like them or get some inspiration. It makes it really, really helpful. With all these options available to you, you can now find all of your favorites any time that you need them and keep them organized. Be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. That's all for this week. I'll see you next time.